Great start once again by Rick Styrin. Linda Warren piling the pressure on. Highly recommended thing to do. You'll really appreciate the gradients here at Alton Park. Coming down into his lops, grabbing the curve on the right, grab the curve on the left. And oh, this Arnold Chabot was up in the air. Now, is that one of his wheels? I think it is. but it's Pip Hammond, second place in the 924th. The car in front, Linda Warren, the championship leader, who clearly had another very good start from pole position. Now let's see what Pip Hammond can do. Pip back with us, sharing the car this year with Gavin Johnson. Pip and Linda very much engaged in battle at the moment. Warren, who won race number one, is challenging hard. Richard Styron up front. But to rubbish in the other two, it doesn't matter. I've got this one in the bag. Oh, Richard Styron, he's not giving up at all. Feels fantastic. That's amazing. I've waited so long to get a podium. Another podium for Linda Warren. Now, but this man, Rick Styron, is going to make it two out of two. Linda started on pole. On the track. Linda Warren in the closing stages of the lap is looking very good indeed. Takes avoiding action for the cone there. Into the chicane they go. Rick Styron is through safe and sound. We've got James Coleman up in second place. We'll join the battle in a minute now. And Pip Hammond's going to come inside line. But Linda Warren wanted that bit of track. And Hammond's off of the grass. And Warren spins across onto the outside and nudges the barrier. Lawrence turns in, back end wants to come round a little bit, that scrubs some speed off. I, I didn't expect that, I think I'd got a little bit too comfortable. And now a challenge for the lead, coming into Lodge Corner, and on the inside line goes Nizar El Chamar. Has he got the lead? Yes he has, Linda Warren down to second, coming up through Deer Leap, Niz goes across and grabs it, Linda Warren's a fighter though, and he's going back to the outside line, Niz is that a little bit defensive coming in? to old all corner, certainly he's won. He deserved it, he drove really well. There is Linda Warren in 42, who will lead the championship. Linda pulls over, Richard Styron makes the pass. The reverse grid's always quite exciting. But Gary Lawrence takes pole for this one, the reverse grid race.
win. Here's the view from Linda Warren, eighth place in the 924s, and sails down the inside of Cupert to take seventh place in class. A good pass by Linda, working her way through the order. For whatever reason, he has apologised. Hit me into the chicane, through the chicane, and out of it. But and this is the view from Old Hall, first corner. Richard Styro with the yellow stripe. Left of shot gets away well, so too once again does Richard Avery in green. Avery, though, once again being muscled by Styron, he's getting through the gears quickly. Styron leads. Rick Styron facing the wrong way in the gravel. Camp corner. Rick Styron in the race, and it looks like Linda Warren is still in front, but Pitt's going to stay on the outside line. They're still side by side. Rick Styron's still there. Linda Warren, the championship leader. Tight line there, maybe a bit defensive, but goes wide and leaves the door open and Pip Hannon's going to go down the inside to take the lead but Linda Warren has some momentum on the outside and hangs on to the lead but it's Styron that leads them through so the double champion will open the 2016 account with a win Jerry said to me last night so let, let, let's get this, this straight so we give a car that we spent four years developing to the current champion who's going quicker than us are we doing this right? If this one felt more real I felt I'd really earned this Rick Styron takes his third win of the year. Just go for it. There is the checker, and congratulations, Linda, on a fine win. That was the hardest race thing I've ever done. And the 924s, of course, won by Linda Warren. Actually, on the red flag lap, I was passing a 924, and I got it slightly wrong. Congratulations to the new champion, Richard Styron. Okay, so we had to bring the car home, but you've got to race these guys, and these guys have been driving amazing. Richard Avery, fitting that he won because he's been my main competitor this year. I really enjoyed him. There's a group of people who've been helping me, Dave, uh, Jordan, my family support at home, friends, Guy and Linda. I'm utterly delighted for everybody involved. If Linda's season started at Snetterton with notice of intent, three second places at Snetterton, a win at Rockingham on the 15th of May, backed up with two more second places there, another win at Alton Park. Make no mistake, Linda Warren is one of the best lady racers, in fact one of the best club racers in the UK, has got this championship here sewn up and she's done so with speed, taking podia and wins and consistency. Crossing the line ahead of her is Darren House, but Linda Warren is the 2016 Porsche 924 champion, the first lady to win the 924s and a 54 career win 76 times on the podium out of 86 starts for him punches the air with delight okay, so we had a little bit of contact apparently mid-race his brakes were not long and gave me a little reminder that he was still there i was pushing him i was wanting him to make a mistake but he never did <laughs> these three just literally knocked I don't know, like, knocked each other around a little bit it's been a perfect weekend and that race for everybody to watch apparently it was brilliant uh, an amazing year for me. I started off with no expectations at all. For somehow we, we just had got a great start. We started getting podiums and before we knew it halfway through the season, we were in the lead of the championship. We all got it all got a bit tense and a bit nerve wracking, but we had to hold it together. We had some bad luck, we had some good luck, and we just had to see it through to the end, you know, and um, and here we are, it's it's just amazing and it's all thanks to to Rick and, and my husband Guy and, and the rest of the team, Tony McQuinsky for hiring the car, uh, Fudge Team Victoria and Dave, Ed and Kevin and um, Barry Groves for sponsoring me and Adam Croft as well for helping in the early days with coaching and things like that. Not least not racing this year and you've got his car yeah, from last year. It's fantastic and that was, uh, you know, Adam and through Adam as well, you know, and getting me the sponsorship with Barry Groves, so great big thanks to him. And also my family at home, my daughter Daniela and my son Marcus for being so patient and letting me do this and looking after things at home and holding it all together. What a fantastic year. Well, quickly before I move on to Rick and his thoughts, Guy, you've been no small part of this lady's success. <laughs> How do you feel now uh, that it's all over? I mean, it's amazing. We, we started this back in 2012. We met Rick, uh, realised we only lived a couple of miles away from each other, and, and that's where it all started. We got into car did a bit of karting. He said she should be racing. He backed us all the way. That's the amount of help... We People will never know how much help he's given. Um, helping us get the first car with his friends and uh, the back in the track days, the, 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 the hauling around the country with his family, it's been massive. And it, it's just so fitting that we've got to this point. He backed her all the way. He said, never, ever give up. She has the talent. We, we needed to find the pace. We found it at Snetterton and bang, we were out the blocks. Um, and we've got to this point here. I, I never thought motorsport 
could take so give you so much but take everything as well and we've got to this point and we've won it and Rick's won it and it's just absolutely fantastic and words words there's no more words it's just brilliant absolutely brilliant time to move on to Rick then an extended family here enjoying your moment with you um, I've absolutely nothing to add <laughs> I'm just delighted. <laughs> That's quite unusual, Rick. I've not yeah. often seen you lost for words. No, I am, and it's quite emotional. We've put a lot in together, so they've done amazing. Yeah. And special, particularly, because you have got your family yeah. here with you this weekend. And we've got some friends from holiday that have travelled down from Newcastle. It's just been a fantastic day. OK, well, championships are wrapped up after race two here at Silverstone. We still have one more to go. Oh, yeah, completely forgot <laughs> about that. Yeah, right. Um, yeah, I don't know what's going to happen in there. We'll, we'll go enjoy it.